So you have started your US visa process. Well, the first thing that you're going to be doing is filling your DS-160. DS-160 is the six page document that the visa officer is going to have in front of him when you go for your interview. So needless to say, filling this the right way is extremely crucial. In this video, I'm going to be taking you through the five things that are really important for you to know before you fill your DS-160. Keep on watching. Hi guys, my name is Shachi and I'm a travel and a visa coach. On this channel, you will find tons of useful content on the US visa process, right from filling your DS-160 to clearing the interview. Make sure that you check it out. So let's dive straight into this video and get into the five really important things to know before you fill your DS-160. So the first thing to keep in mind is as soon as you start your application, you will be asked to set a security question and an application ID will also be displayed on the screen. And it's really important that you keep note of both of these things because every time you log into your application, you will need the security question and the application ID to continue the same. So let's say that for some reason you're filling your DS-160 and you couldn't complete it. And if you want to go back to the same application, then the DS-160 is auto-saved in the consular website. But for you to access it, you will need to answer that security question and enter your application ID. For the security question, there are a list of options that you can choose from, such as your mother's maiden name, your place of birth, uh, and so on. So pick whatever is easy for you to remember, and of course, remember the answer to it. And as far as the application ID is concerned, this will be an alpha numeric digit. And just below the application ID, there is a save button. So you can click on that and save a PDF version of it on your laptop. If not, you can just take a picture of it and save it on your mobile phone. So the next important thing to keep in mind while filling your DS-160 is to block time. Now, like I mentioned earlier, DS-160 is a six page document. So there is quite a bit of data involved and there are a lot of questions that you need to answer. And in my opinion, it is better to do this in one continuous sitting. That is because the moment you leave your system idle for more than 15 minutes, let's say that you get up to take a break and the system is left idle for more than 15 minutes, it is going to log you out, out of that application. And then you will have to log in again by entering the security question, entering the application ID, and then continue from where you left off. So a better way to do it is to block 60 to 70 minutes of your time and do it in one continuous sitting so that you're in the flow, you don't have to keep logging into the system again and again, and you complete your application. In fact, I have something very useful for you guys. So I have a training video in which you can fill your DS-160 with me in flat 40 minutes. In this video, I share my screen with you and I show you exactly how to answer each and every question of DS-160 and what to fill in. Now, this video is a part of my DS-160 toolkit and in this toolkit, apart from this video, there are also a lot of other useful things such as templates to prepare these answers and a detailed FAQ document to clear all your doubts. So if you want to make the process of filling DS-160 really simple and hassle-free for yourself, do check out this toolkit. The link for this is in the description box below. So the third really important thing that I want you to know is prepare some answers for the DS-160 and keep them ready before you start filling the form. So the DS-160 will have certain descriptive questions which will require you to give detailed answers in about a para or a two. And for such questions, it is always better to keep the answers ready and just paste these answers into your form when you're filling it. And the reason for this is that while filling the form, if you take too much time in answering the questions, you know that the system will idle out and it will log you out and you'll have to do the entire process of, you know, logging in and entering all your information again. And the second reason is if you have these answers prepared, the process will be just smoother and, you know, easier for you because while filling the form and while typing it, if you're going to sit and think, okay, what should I write? Is this sounding correct or not? It's just going to be a big mess and the process will be really cumbersome. So do prepare some of the answers and keep them ready before you start your DS-160. And to help you in doing this, I have a free PDF for you. So this PDF is a template for the work information part of DS-160, which in my opinion is one of the most important parts of the form. So using this template, you can prepare all the answers that are asked in the work information part, keep them ready and simply transfer it to your form. So do check the link in the description box to get your free PDF. So the fourth really important thing to keep in mind is while filling your current DS-160, you should also keep copies of your old DS-160s with you. So if this is not your first visa interview, then you would have filled the DS-160 form earlier as well and you should have a copy of that. And while filling this form, keep in mind that the information needs to be coherent 
and it needs to be uniform across both the old and the new DS160. You just cannot change the information completely in your new DS160 and you know give contradictory data. This is going to create a lot of problems. So to avoid such mistakes, make sure that you have your old DS160 with you so that you can refer back to it, see what you have written and maintain that uniformity. This is especially important when it comes to information related to family, related to work and related to travel. Because these are the details which are not expected to change and you are expected to give the same answers. So now we come to the fifth point. Now even though this is the last point, this is really important. So once you finish filling the form and you are done entering all your details, go back to all the pages, double check it and make sure that the information entered is accurate and you know there are no mistakes. After that you will hit submit and you will provide your e-signature. And then a confirmation page will be displayed on the screen. This confirmation page is very important because this is what you need to take with you when you go for your visa interview. So make sure that you save a copy of it and if possible also print out a copy of it. After this, do not just close the browser and you know do not just finish the process. There is one more important thing that you need to do and this is what a lot of people just forget and this is to save your DS160 form. So the browser will give you an option to save your entire DS160 form or to print it. Please do this because you will need this form to prepare for your interview. You need to know what you have entered in the form because you might have filled DS160 a couple of months before your interview and it is not necessary that you're going to remember each and every single thing that you have entered. So before you close your browser and finish everything, make sure that you save or print a copy of your entire DS160 form and keep it with you. So guys, these are the five really important things that you need to know before you fill your DS160. To make the process of filling DS160 really simple and hassle-free, do check out my DS160 toolkit. A lot of people have used it and they have found it extremely useful. In fact, all the video grabs that I showed you in this video are from my toolkit. So do check the link in the description box below if you want to get your own copy. Apart from this, if you have any more questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. You can also DM me on Instagram. My Instagram handle is at shachi.mal. I'll be happy to respond to your questions and to help you out. Furthermore, if you want a personalized session with me, you can book a one-to-one -one consultation session. This will be done on a video call and this will help you clear your doubts, help you frame answers for the interview and also gain you some special insider tips. So links for all of these are in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Signing off for now. Bye.